Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's lovely to have you here. Today we're talking all things red lipstick for pale skin. As you can see, I've been busy swatching. Just before we get into the video as well, make sure you give this video a like if you do end up enjoying it or you find it useful. And of course, make sure you're subscribed as well. I make three videos a week and hit that notification bell as well so you get notified of when my uploads go up. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I have for you, one, two, three, four, five, six proper bullet lipsticks to talk about and one liquid lipstick, which is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today and it is my favorite out of all of them. And then I also have two honorary mentions, one being another liquid lipstick and the other one was another bullet lipstick that's been, that's part of a holiday collection, so I didn't really want to mention it in case it's not available anymore. But I also wanted to talk about it because it's one of my absolute favorite colors, um, but I just thought I'd put those two as like honorary mentions on the end. We also have three drugstore options to talk about, so I'm going to start with those. Because I think lipstick especially, there are so many great lip products in the drugstore. If I could only wear lipsticks from the drugstore, I would be fine with that. There are so many great options, and the three that I've got are all quite different tones. Um, most of the lipsticks that I have are matte, so there's like one or two which are more of a satin, but I'm definitely not into like a glossy red lip. For me, that just feels a little bit too... Tarty. <laughs> the first one I want to talk about is by Maybelline and it is the color 800 dynamic red and this is quite a sort of deep cherry red so it's definitely a blue base but it's quite a deep sort of vampy red. It's definitely a little bit deeper it's not quite as bright as some of the other ones I'm going to talk about. This one I love for more evening because I typically prefer deeper reds in the evening and then more brighter reds for like day to day. Not that I wear a bright red every day but sometimes I do feel like doing a red lip especially if I've just got like a classic little wing or some really basic eye makeup like I'm wearing today. Putting on a red lip can be a really nice statement without having to actually try too hard. <laughs> just to point out the Maybelline ones do have quite a scent. It's quite a sort of fake vanilla-y scent. It's not my favorite in the world, um, but the texture of this one's really lovely and smooth and creamy. It leaves a really nice comfortable kind of matte finish, which I really like. And if you blot it well, it doesn't rub off on your teeth either. Obviously, all of the bullet lipsticks I talk about aren't really patch proof. The only one that I would say is patch proof is the one I'm wearing today, which is a liquid lipstick. But because they're all mostly sort of matte formulas, they do have pretty good transfer resistance. I find that with this Maybelline one, I can put it on in the morning and eat food and it only wears off a little bit in the center. It doesn't like wear off badly throughout the day. It's a really great one and it is super affordable. The next one is another very affordable and accessible lipstick. So this isn't like an obscure drugstore brand or anything. It's by L'Oreal and this one is their Colorish Matte 346 in the shade Scarlet Silhouette. So this is a little bit of a brighter red. This is more what I would call a daytime red. As you'll see in the swatches at the end, it definitely is a lot brighter compared to the Maybelline one I just showed. The only thing with drugstore lipsticks is that they do have a scent. So um, a few of you have mentioned that you have migraines and you love to know when products are scented. So this is that really old fashioned kind of perfumey sort of scent. Personally, I quite like the scent actually, but I know for some of you, you hate it or you're too sensitive to scents. So just be aware that the L'Oreal ones in general have a scent. I must say I love the packaging of this L'Oreal one. It feels and looks very high end, even though it's a drugstore product. A lot fancier than the Maybelline ones. I'm not a big fan of the Maybelline packaging. The texture of this one is matte again, but it is quite a smooth, creamy matte. It glides on really easily. And then the next one is a drugstore product from Australia. So this is by, by the brand Chi Chi. I think the packaging on this one's really fun. It's definitely not like, super classy or anything but it's really pretty and very beautiful and I think for a drugstore lipstick it's a really like it's just quite a unique packaging so I really like that and it's a really good quality as well like it has a nice snap shut and I've never had like the lid fall off in my bag or anything so this shade boy magnet is a very sort of deep crimson sort of red as well this one is meant to be a bit more of a matte finish but I would say it's kind of like matte to satin it's definitely not super matte but it, um, it glides on really smoothly and leaves a slight sheen on your lips it's very very nice very comfortable to wear has really good longevity as well this one doesn't really have a scent it smells like makeup but it doesn't have like a strong fragrance or scent added to it so I think if you suffer from migraines, you'd be fine with this one. So those are my three picks from the drugstore. If you're looking for a drugstore liquid lipstick, I would recommend the ColourPop ones. The shade that I used to love was Silhouette. It was like very, very similar to what I've got on. This is a higher end liquid lipstick that I'll get to really soon. 
Um, very, very beautiful. Pretty much an exact dupe for this. Um, but the reason I decluttered my ColourPop liquid lipsticks is because they started to get really like separated and chunky. They don't last that long. That's the only thing. You can only really have them for a year before they start to kind of go bad, which I was a wee bit disappointed in. But then again, they're only like $6. So um, I would highly suggest checking out the ColourPop liquid lipsticks if you're interested in a liquid lipstick that has a really great red. There's a few different reds, but particularly Silhouette. That was always my favorite. So the next few are high end. And the first one I want to talk about is by Smashbox, which I don't think Smashbox gets enough love on YouTube. They've got some really great products. I got sent a lot of their lipsticks about a year ago, a little over a year ago. I got like 20 of their best selling colors and the formula of their Be Legendary lipsticks is beautiful. It's very comparable to like MAC, if not even better perhaps, <laughs> uh, formula wise. And this is the shade Bing, which is a really nice bright red color. Not quite as bright as the L'Oreal one. It's like got a little bit more depth to it, but it's somewhere sort of between the L'Oreal and the Maybelline, you could say. It's a really true classic red. And this one does lean a touch on what I'd say the warm side. So it's not a cool tone red. It's definitely like a warm toned red. These don't have any fragrance either. And the packaging on them is really, really beautiful. And the caps are really nice. They have this kind of smooth shut. So instead of like a click, it just sort of suctions in. It's really hard to describe, but they're really, really secure caps. They never come off in my bag, which is essential for red lipstick. You don't want red lipstick going through your handbag. And the next one is also by Smashbox. So same deal with obviously the packaging and everything. This is also another matte formula, but this is the shade Unzipped, which in the tube looks like a really deep kind of red, but when it's actually on the lips, I guess it is kind of deep. This is much more what I'd call a berry red. So it's got that really like slight hint of pink to it, um, but it doesn't look like a true berry. I'd still label it in the red category, but it's just if you prefer a red lipstick that has a little bit more of a pink base to it, then I'd definitely check this one out. Again, it's really comfortable to wear, very smooth. I love the Smashbox formula. So definitely check those out if you haven't looked into Smashbox, Smashbox lipsticks before. The next one was my favorite red lipstick for so long. This was like my holy grail for many, many years. I do think the one that I'm wearing now is better than this one, but I still absolutely love this color and this formula. This is the MAC lipstick in Ruby Woo. This is such a classic. Probably should replace this one because it's been quite a few years that I've owned this, but it still smells really good. MAC lipsticks have a very subtle vanilla scent, but it's very, very subtle. It really doesn't bother me ever. And I think if you, You'd have to be extremely sensitive to scents to really be bothered by this. It's nowhere near as strong as like the drugstore ones. The reason I loved Ruby Woo is it's my perfect kind of everyday red. It's quite bright. It doesn't lean too cool toned. It's not like super blue, but it's definitely not too warm either. It's like basically a neutral red smack bang in the middle. It's not too deep and it's not too sheer or pale. It's like just, it's perfect. And it's a really nice classic day to day red. It's also an amazing formula. Out of all of my matte lipsticks that are not liquid lipsticks, this is the only one that I would say is really transparent like is a hundred percent transfer proof this thing just like will not budge as soon as you get it on it is quite drying on the lips so just bear that in mind because it's a retro matte formula from MAC which means it's a wax based formula as opposed to their normal standard matte range which has a little bit more slip to it so these can be very difficult to apply these retro mattes what I would suggest is just warming the tube up slightly like very slightly with a hair dryer um, so you just get the lip so you can just blast it for like a couple of seconds even and um, you may even want to do the bullet itself but you just gotta be really careful because you don't want to melt your lipstick um, but that can help it to glide on really easily I do find in summer it glides on perfectly in winter that's when I tend to struggle when it's obviously a lot colder but I find that once it's on my lips it's fine it's very comfortable and if I do have quite chapped lips I can just go on with a wee bit of lip balm on top just to help it but they're not I don't find it to be as uncomfortable as other people. I know some people find this absolutely unwearable. So if you really struggle with drying lip colors, I wouldn't suggest this one. But if you're fine, if you're like me and you can kind of get away with, you know, you've got pretty hardy lips, then I would recommend this one because the color is amazing. And then the last one in my like official lineup is what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's my favorite one out of the lot and it is the Stella Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Baser. It's deeper than Ruby Woo. Um, so it's definitely more of an evening-y kind of lipstick that for me, like it's something I wear a lot for performances um, with my classical music. Um, and it pairs really beautifully with a dramatic eye, especially with something with glitter. It's just, it's so, so beautiful. Again, it's not super warm toned, but it's not cool toned either. It's pretty much just what I'd say neutral. It's a very true red. Out of all the liquid lipstick formulas I've ever tried, the Stella Stay All Day range is my absolute favorite. I love every color I've ever had from them. And I've probably got about seven or eight colors now. Like I really, I keep adding to the collection because I really like it. But this red color in particular is my favorite 
The reason I like it is it dries down completely matte, like you get no transfer on your finger or anything, but it's so comfortable. It's like you can stretch your lips. <laughs> That's a funny looking face. But you know, you can like stretch your lips out and you don't get cracking, you don't get flaking, it doesn't go chunky like other lip colors. And if I do eat something that's a bit oily and it does take a little bit of the color off, I can go back in and reapply this on top and it won't go all chunky and gross like some liquid lipsticks do. So I love it for that reason. It's really, really great for events. So finally, I'll just quickly mention these two little uh, bonus ones on the end. The, the first one is another liquid lipstick. I wanted to mention this because I like it, but I don't like it as much as the Stella one. It's a little bit more drying in formula, but I do quite like the color. And it's the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Lady Balls. This is a slightly deeper red than uh, Bezo by Stella, but it's a little bit more, it is slightly more cool toned as well. I like the formula because it is just like a budge proof kind of liquid lipstick, but it is a wee bit more drying so if you suffer from dry lips and you hate usually liquid lipsticks that are really really drying I wouldn't go near this because it's just that really true classic ultimate dry down sort of lip color and I find it doesn't reapply as well like it does get a wee bit chunky but the color is phenomenal lady balls is really really beautiful so that's kind of why I wanted to give it a little sneaky honorary mention and then the other one is a holiday collection limited edition from Mac and this one I picked up this year and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's like everything I love about uh, Ruby Woo but with a lot more comfort and it's just so flattering on my skin tone. It's from the, obviously from the MAC Holiday Collection. I can't remember what this was called but it's the one on all the gold sort of reflective packaging. So, so beautiful. I have such a thing for gold and I saw this and I was like, I need this. It's the only thing I picked up from the range but I'm really pleased I did. And this is in the shade Rouge en Snow. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce snow in French because Rouge en is French but then snow is not. So if you do know how to pronounce this correctly, I'd love to know. But yeah, this is basically a really smooth creamy matte lipstick and it's very sort of similar to Ruby Woo but with a touch more depth like it's just a hair fraction more depth very similar kind of neutral undertone it's just so comfortable to wear and it looks really flattering on the lips so if this was permanent I'd be so so happy I'm pleased I've got a tube because I don't go through lipsticks that fast so I'm unlikely to run out of it before it expires but I wish I could use it still in tutorials and stuff for you guys because it's so nice but I won't be able to so that's just a little private collection love for me so here we have them all lined up. We've got firstly Maybelline's Dynamic Red, then L'Oreal's Scarlet Silhouette, Chi Chi Boy Magnet, Smashbox Bing, Smashbox Unzipped, Mac Ruby Woo, and Stella Bezo. And then over here we have our little honorary mentions. This is Too Faced Lady Balls and MAC Rouge en Snow from the 2017 Holiday Collection. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't worry, a nude lipsticks for pale skin video is going to be coming as well. I know a lot of you are really hanging out for that one. I just wanted to take a little bit more time with that one to pick a few, like just to make sure I've really scoured the market because I want it to be a really informative video. Again, remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.